Good morning. So, Snippet Pixie next. Um, I think last time I didn't quite get to doing a delete snippet. Uh, interesting. Let's uh, see what's going on there. I don't think I did any work anywhere else, have you? Hmm. Right. Um, I need to just double check where we're at. So, okay, let's just double check that the daemon is up to date. And then we'll test it. Ah, I did need a compiler. I wonder what changed. That's a bit spooky. Okay. Uh, and then here in the GUI, do the dev version. <clears throat> okay. So this is normal mode um, for the window. Um, and we're at the point where I can navigate the list. Um, and I can go into something. And I can cancel. Uh, I can search. Uh, but I can't delete. I can edit this. to do is I want to delete that and I haven't actually got a button for that yet. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to just have a button down here in the bottom left. I could do it there. I keep wondering whether I should do it there. But I feel like having it separate is probably a better idea. In the existing version, the whole bottom is uh, a big delete button because I use uh, I save on any change, but I don't want to do that in this version. Hmm. Well, we'll see. We'll just make it, and then um, we'll see what happens. So let's uh, let's just put this. We can keep this open. Stick it in the corner so we can watch it. And then put it on to the same workspace I'm working. Um, now, do we even have a delete endpoint yet? We have add snippet, update, and a bunch of get versions but no delete so we're going to have to hook up the back end uh, delete stuff so that we can put in a button for delete okay uh, let's have a look at the interface um now i've got to remember what it's called it's a debus service Okay, so this is like a, an interface saying what um, a client like the GUI or the CLI um, needs to handle um, or can handle rather. So I think we need to add a like a delete, delete somewhere here. Um, there's something I need to check there, though. I think it's by ID, but let's see what the back end actually has. So snippet pixie D, D bus. OK, I kind of need to move that out of the way now so I can see. Remove snippet. OK. And I 
just pass in the abbreviation. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, I guess I needed that for the CLI because you don't really want to be passing in IDs. So it's probably okay. We'll do that. Do that, do. Double checking it's okay. I think it is. It's a long time since I wrote these things now. And it does remove snippet with ID. Uh, commits the transaction if you're all okay. That's fine. Okay. Right, so we've got to hook things up then. So we're going to have. Um, Basically this. But we're changing the dbus error. So let's be a little bit careful there. Because I don't want it to import. Oh, I've already got it. Huh. Of course I have, because I was using it in the CLI. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, okay. So that means so in, this is the internal service. Um so yeah, okay, I'm good. So CLI would be already using this. Yeah, that's the CLI. So all we need to do is hook it up on app.go. Right, OK. So this is the GUI version of the uh, CLI, effectively. So do, 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 do. let's do it. Mm. I'll do it here. So we want to funk hanging off the app. And it's going to return that and an error or an error. And it's basically just going to do return a so remove snippet. Navigation. Did that because it just noticed that this had uh, changed. Don't know how, seeing as it wasn't saved. Um, right, I want to just steal. Um, I got a bad description. Hmm, not really. Remove snippet, removes a snippet by the debus service. Yep, that makes sense. 
Got do. Okay, right, now it's figured it out. Presumably have regenerated the JavaScript. So I should be able to edit the edit snippet screen. So let's go find that. Right, let's put a button in here then. Gonna have to do some styling. See this, this would be the easiest version. Uh, this will put it on the right hand side. And I haven't got, hmm. I haven't got a like danger version or anything like that. So let's do that. Right, so the default is primary. So if we're not danger, we're set in primary. If primary is set and secondary, hmm. make it false. And if So danger is like if primary is set, hmm. what order do I want that? Because do I want danger to override secondary? Probably. Yeah. But not primary. So So if primary or danger and secondary, then we want false. Otherwise, secondary can be where it is. That's fine. OK. Let's not do that, let's do this. Let's show it in priority order there. Keep it consistent. And then the button.
should be more like primary, I think. See what that's like. Is my uh, there it is. Oh, this is not going to work, but um, we'll get there. So somehow I've broken that. It might be because of that because of that um translation stuff it needs to be generated. Let's kill that off. I'll do it this way. No, definitely broken it somehow. Okay. Let's have a quick scan before I go to the uh, browser. Oh, I've got a handle on move. Numpty. Right, okay. So, kind of want to do that. A bit like a save, but not. And a remove. I don't want Okay, so I need to be careful here. During an edit We're binding to local variables. Here and here. So 
So I think we're okay. We can just use the snippet that we grab early on. So we come in. We should have an ID and we set that on mount. We come in, we get the params, make sure it's got a property of ID. If it hasn't, we're going to um, drop out. Otherwise, based on that ID, we get a snippet. Check it. Um, make sure. What did I do that for? All right. Make sure it hasn't got a nil ID. New ID. And then I set the local variables. Okay. But I'd never touch the actual snippet again. So we're good to use that. So I should, in theory, be able to do this. Just using the snippet abbreviation that was passed in, regardless of whether it's been edited, and then pop out. Otherwise, we might have an edit there. So, hmm. error editing snippet. Let's change that. Let's have remove, but we're not going to have much in here at the moment. I will put a title in case we need that somewhere. But it's this error moving snippet that we need. These are not going to be used for the moment, so get shut of them. There we go. Now these translations here that I've just added, they're not going to work because they won't have been compiled up yet. They're just there for the next compile. I think we're okay there. Let's give it a go then. So I, in theory, well, let's see if I can tab to it properly. I can. Yeah, I think it's okay. So I'm going to hit it now. Is it gone? It is. Okay. So if I add Ripple, Wobble, can't do that. Ripple, Wobble. Again, and save it. I should 
probably need to make that just quickly. No, that's okay. So if I do snippet pixie list ribble, it's there. Ribble wobble again, blah, blah, blah. If I delete it from here, again, I need to quote that. Oops. Okay, and then search again, it's gone. And now back over here, I should get an error. Yep, could not find snippet for edit, that's fine. So if I add it again, oops. And then go into edit mode. And then back here, show it. Yep, it's back again. And delete it. It's gone again. They come in here. <clears throat> Try and remove it. It's just happy because it's already gone. That's fine. That's good. I don't know. It's hard to test having a failure to delete. Um, it's hard to uh, lock the record. I know how I can test that because I haven't I haven't put anything to disable the remove button if I lose connection. So let's try that. I just want to make sure that um oh Hold on, let's count, let's close off for a second. I need to make sure this compiles up. Translations. So if I if I add it. Lots of sense. Save that. And then we go into it. And then on the daemon, we kill it. So, can't save anymore, but I can still remove because I haven't disabled it yet, which I'm going to have to do. Um, but in theory, this will give me an error. Yeah. Error editing snippet. Uh, okay. I thought I changed that. Remove snippet. Could not find snippet for edit. Okay, all right, so I need to bring back the daemon for a sec.
go into it, kill the demon, try and remove it. Ever remove and snip it. Yeah, and then we get the thingy there. Uh, let's just bring it up. I should be able to remove it. Oh, it's stuck. Oh, okay, because it did have focus. Oh, it's gone. Smart. Okay. That will do. So we now have a remove. Um, oh, yeah, I do need to. Right, I do need to disable remove when. Um, we don't have a connection, so how did I do that before? Disabled. Hmm. So I don't really care. About there being an abbreviation error message. Because it, it could be. Oh, my tummy's just going nuts there. Um. It could well be that the reason why we just want to delete it is because we thought we might rename the abbreviation and we get a clash. We're like, oh yeah, I've already got one. Let's just delete it then. So. I think the only reason Would be a not connection, okay. I'm going to have a second variable for that. Could just put it into the button, but I feel like this will make more sense later on when I come to do any changes. Nope, went too far. See what happens there. Um, Okay, so active, active, kill the daemon, both disabled. I'll probably need to change that color and it's not quite right, but it's definitely good. And then I can cancel there and it's like, whoa, I can't get anything. And then I bring back the daemon. 
and they come back. That's cool. Great. Smart. We have a delete. Okay. Everything looks good there. I have to see with remove. Move. How do we move? Got a button, and I think it's okay where it's placed. I'm not going to muck about with that, uh, putting it on the left or anything. Translations, okay. And button. It's fine. 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 That's okay. Probably need to do a bit of a tidy up at some point because we're starting to get a bit long in here. We could probably split this out into a couple of different files. And just have all our... Um, our functions in a separate file, but that's for another day. Okay. Let's save this off. Um, enable So, removal of snippets. Now I do. So, um, we have a fairly functional GUI app now, but there's a few little bits and bobs missing. So, um, I'm probably not going to do any more today, but I basically have I've done this. The welcome screen, not quite done. Although we do have one. What I do want to do though is I want to do an import button on it and probably a link to say help but that's going to be quite late on I'm going to do that so I'm going to say the welcome screen is effectively done uh, bounce screen we haven't done edit snippet definitely done Delete snippet, we just did today. Settings I haven't done yet. Import, haven't done yet. Export, haven't done yet. Search and paste. Kind of done, but needs more work. So, um, not so much because of well, it's kind of done. What's not working is bundling it up and making sure it also works on Wayland. It works on X, X server. But the last time I had a little play on, you, on Ubuntu, um, it didn't work. 
And I think that's probably because I was using XDo tool for doing the actual snippet paste in. And I'm not sure that works on the Wayland session. So a search and paste is there and it's functioning right. We did that over the last few videos, but there's going to be bugs, but we'll get we'll fix them when we do them. So we're done with that. So um, the next thing I probably want to do is a setting screen um, that allows you to also export because I don't really want lots of buttons and things. Um, and then obviously an import as well. And then I'll also put the import on the welcome screen. So these are kind of all going to be tied together a little bit. But that's stuff to do next time. Uh, but otherwise, yeah, we're coming on. Let's, we're getting there. So, yeah, I think I'll leave it there for today. Um, and uh, we'll have a little play with um, importing and exporting snippets. That's going to be fun. I'm not quite sure how I'm going to do that. Um, there's, but there is, there are dialogues in Wales for doing selection of files and stuff. So that'll be a new thing to play with. So, okay, until next time then, thank you very much for watching. Um, see you later. Bye.